after Israel bombed Iran's consulate in Syria, Iran has fired hundreds of missiles and drones at Israel. On April 1st, Israel launched an airstrike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus, Syria, and killed 16 people, including three top Iranian commanders. Israel did not directly claim responsibility for the attack, but multiple Israeli officials confirmed the attack. Diplomatic and consular buildings are given special protection under international law, and an attack on an embassy is considered an attack on the country itself. Syria's foreign minister condemned Israel's actions, calling it a terrorist attack that killed innocents. Two weeks after Israel's attack, Iran responded on Saturday, April 13, launching a barrage of drones and missiles at Israel in its first ever direct attack on Israel. Iran's allies in Lebanon, Iraq and Yemen also fired rockets, drones and missiles at Israel. Israel and Iran has been in a years-long shadow war for power in the Middle East, with both accusing each other of attacking their interests. That's because Iran's government backs a network of political and armed groups in several countries in the Middle East that support the Palestinian cause. These include Hamas in Gaza and Hezbollah in Lebanon, both groups that Israel has been fighting against. Sirens blared across Israel and explosions were visible in the sky as waves of missiles reached the country after several hours. Major airlines across the Middle East cancelled and rerouted some of their flights as several countries in the region closed their airspaces. 99% of the missiles and drones from Iran were intercepted by Israel with the help of the US, UK, France and Jordan. Israel's army said on Sunday that the Iranian strikes caused minor damage with no casualties, with only a seven-year-old girl being injured. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu meanwhile said that Israel will win and that it was prepared for any scenario. Iran said the move was self-defense and punishment for Israeli crimes, adding that the operation was successful. Israel then requested an emergency UN Security Council meeting to condemn Iran, despite having repeatedly condemned the UN throughout its war in Gaza. Israel's work cabinet met on Sunday and said it will exact a price from Iran in a way and at a time that suits us. Experts say that Iran's attack sent a message to Israel that it's willing to escalate, warning that a regional war could break out. Follow for more updates on the situation in the Middle East.